This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am, a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about the untold story of the Anunnaki, those who from heaven to earth came. First a joke. How do you make a Kleenex dance? Put a little boogie into it. <laughs> What Anunnaki god is the name Earth derived from? How did aliens from another planet discover Earth and why? And what is the oldest creation story? And how is the Anunnaki linked to the Earth's first on planet Earth? Before mankind, some 445,000 years ago, alien extraterrestrial astronauts from another planet called Nibiru came to Earth in search of gold. They arrived on this planet in alien spacecraft and splashed down in one of the Earth's seas, probably in the Persian Gulf, and did establish the first colony in Eridu in later places like Bahran in the very ancient Dilmun civilization. This is called the home in the far away, or far away from the Orion, Taurus, Pleiades, and the Alpha Draconis constellations in the Sirius and Aldebaran stars. In a very short order, these astronauts expanded to a full-fledged mission Earth. One of these extraterrestrials was called Ia Anki. His name is also in the name for our home planet, Ia, equal to Earth. The name also means Lord Earth or Master of Earth. He is in the God of Waters and the Fresh Water ocean in the Abzu. The gold mining of Earth expedition by the Anunnaki was authorized by the founding father of the Anunnaki Elohim named King Anu. The past and previous king of Nibiru was named Alulu and he is the original supposed face of Mars whom lost a wrestling match to Anu and discovered gold on Earth. So Ia Inki traveled with a group of 50 Anunnaki aliens to Earth to certify the gold claims made by Alulu. The Unuma Elish establishes this claim in Tablet 7. Let him administer all my decrees with the word 50. The great Anunnaki gods called his 50 names and assigned him an outstanding position. What is the oldest creation story on earth? This is called the Sumerian creation myth called the Eridu Genesis. The biblical Genesis narrative is a mere image of the creation myth. So Enki and his group of 50 extraterrestrials within six days of their landing in what we as humans term UFOs established their first settlement colony called Eridu. This is the very first recorded city on this planet we call Earth. And this was the very first home of the alien extraterrestrial god Inki, later called Ia by the Akkadians. Inki is surely the god of construction, arts, and crafts, because as you can see in the ruins of Eridu, the aliens built temples and buildings, used spaceports, mining facilities made of brick and mud built on top of another. Inki is also the God of wisdom and of mankind. Enki is in the first book wrote on earth, the oldest work 
of literature on this planet. About a two-thirds Anunnaki alien and a one-third human, called the Epic of Gilgamesh. Inki is the absolute hero to mankind in the epic called the Zuasudra Noah myth story, wherein Inki explains to the king of Shurapek in the times before the flood to build a boat and save the seeds of mankind. And this was not good because it went against the will of his half-brother Enlil the other great god or alien extraterrestrial. Enlil and Enki both start with N. N means master of earth. No other gods besides these two had this title. In this tale we find the two opposing forces of two brothers both wanting to master the earth. One being Inky, the benefactor of mankind, and the other, the destroyer, who wants to end mankind. This can be seen as Inky being the archon as Prometheus, or men's benefactor, and Enlil as the archon Kronos, who eats his children. Or simply put, the universal law of polarity. At any rate, these two aliens decide to create human beings in their image to be like them and have them do all the work in order to maintain the creations on this planet and also mine their gold. These aliens are in the oldest cuneiform tablets known in existence on the planet we call Earth. These great alien gods gave the earth most of its first, like music, clothing, reading, writing, the wheel, all our food, livestock, and fish, housing, marriage, religions, schools, rules, medicine, time, money, spirituality, and like it or not, they gave the earth and mankind life. Genesis 2.7 Then the Lord God's Ninhursag, Inki and Enlil, formed the man from the dust of the ground. They breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils, and the man became a living person. They also gave us a soul. The Anunnaki, whom traveled from another planet, Nibiru, to Earth, receive a new name as the Anunnaki, or those who from heaven to earth came. The Sumerian name word Eden translates as home of the righteous ones or the Anunnaki Elohim. Enki's home in Eridu. Eden in the Eridu is the first alien settlement of the Anunnaki, the first city on earth and civilization, and the first known race of Homo sapiens, called the Sumerians. Also, an alien language that we cannot understand to this day, called Sumerian, or pronounced Shumerian. This, perhaps, alone proves more alien than any other part of the Anunnaki story. The Sumerian language is the first recorded, the oldest, the most earliest known written and spoken language on our planet Earth. This alone proves the existence of the alien Anunnaki on Earth as the creator gods because the Sumerian language is considered a dead language and not spoken today because no one understands the language of the gods. It is totally alien. This language was taught in the Sumerian cities under the king's rule. 
According to the Sumerian king's list, Eridu was the first city in the world. And King Alulim was the first king of Eridu and the first king of Sumer. Inki, the alien Anunnaki god of Eridu, is said to have brought civilization to Samaria. The first line is, After the kingship descended from heaven, the kingship was in Eridu. The next very important point to ponder a lifetime on is, Are we alone in the universe? Or are they reproducing worlds like ours and bringing order out of chaos with life forms like human beings? The Sumerian epic of creation gives a clear representation as the Anunnaki gods as planets, respectively called satellites. Is this the very reason why we call our planet Mother Earth? meaning she is a living organism and was terraformed in the very ancient past, whereas the pillars of earth were formed as a god that is reactive to our human collective consciousness, concurrently connected to a supercomputer like the Black Knight satellite. We may never know, but this brings us to another Sumerian creation myth called the creation of the moon and the sun under the seven tablets of creation. In quote, when the great gods Anu, Enlil, and Ea, the great gods, through their unchangeable counsel and powerful commands, fix the crescent of the moon to cause the new moon to shine forth, to create the month, Signs for heaven and earth they fixed. This text actually states that the moon and the sun were designed, fabricated, and engineered on a subplanet, then driven into their celestial positions to create life as we know it onto our planet Earth. Is this the reptilian? holographic technology. In the book of Job 38, 4-6, the Lord challenges Job and asks him, Where were you when I laid the foundations of earth? Who determines its dimensions and stretches out the surveying line? What supports its foundations? And who laid its cornerstones. Also in Psalm 19.1, the heavens proclaim the glory of God, the skies display his craftsmanship. Remember the truth sets and makes you free, and all roads lead to the Anunnaki, creator, alien, extraterrestrial, from the world's first recorded known civilization in Sumer, Mesopotamia. Thank you so much for picking up what I am putting down only because you are and I am a spirit of God. Peace and love to you.